The first sales figures are in for New Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe. Now, you'll remember before the game came out, I released two specific videos about the game. One was a should you, you know, is it worth buying you know, New Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe again in 2019? And then it was a what's it going to sell? That numbers say video I did where I was projecting a lifetime total of a little over 7 million units or 7 plus million. Basically, it'll sell at least 7 million is my projection. And I did this based on a number of factors, based on the number of units prior games have sold, based on how well Wii U games have sold on Switch in comparison to originally on Wii U, along with other factors such as how many more Switches are on the market. That being said, we now have some sales data for the game from one territory. So this is one territory, not indicative of the whole world, but it's very interesting which territory this is from. Normally by now we're talking about Japan, Japan, Japan. But here we're actually talking about the UK. Now this information comes from GameIndustry.biz and it basically sold 25% more than it did on Wii U at launch. Now remember, that was at launch when Wii U had just launched itself and actually its first month on the market was a record setter before it dropped off. Let's actually check out what GameIndustry.biz had to say about this. Nintendo's latest Switch release took the Super Crown in the UK charts this week, with New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe debuting at number one. The game, a port of both the Wii U launch title and its Luigi-centric expansion, is only the fourth Switch title to top the charts, following Super Smash Bros. Ultimate just before Christmas, Mario Tennis Aces last summer, and a two-week stint at number one for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe back in April of 2017. New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe far outperformed its original release, shifting 24.8% more copies than the Wii U version did at launch, and, as always, that's excluding digital sales. Mario's return, plus a 52% sales drop week-on-week, uh, knocks last week's number one, FIFA 19, down to number two. Red Dead Redemption 2 also summers a similar drop in sales, down 53%, slipping to number three. Beyond that, there's not much movement in the top ten. Nintendo holds three positions with Smash Bros. and Mario Kart at number five and six, respectively. There is one re-entry this week, and that's Grand Theft Auto V, returning to the top ten, which went up eight places to number eight. So what we learned from this is that New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe is outperforming a launch game on a launch system and remember that game actually performed pretty well about 5 million or so units on Wii U so I'm actually pretty stunned that in the UK which is a territory where even though Switch is successful there it's not necessarily hitting the ground like it is in France where in France like Switch was the best selling system of 2018 in France uh, we know the insane sales numbers in Japan and we know the pretty good sales numbers here in North America. In the UK, they seem to be a bit more bullish on, on other platforms, you know, more so leaning towards PlayStation 4, specifically for games like FIFA. But it's interesting to see that New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe has actually outperformed and taken a number one spot in the charts when only three other titles, I mean, think about this, Breath of the Wild at launch of Nintendo Switch could not take a top spot in the charts. But a month later, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe did. Then we saw nothing again until Mario Tennis Aces. So Odyssey couldn't even top the charts. You're telling me new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe topped the charts when Super Mario Odyssey couldn't do it? When Mario Tennis Aces pulled it off? Obviously, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as well. Pokemon Let's Go Pichu, Let's Go Eevee couldn't even pull it off. Granted, I don't think they did a combined sales figures for those two. I think they separated them out. So possibly combined sales, they might have been number one. But still, it's so fascinating to me to see that this is the fourth Switch title to hit the top spot. Uh, who knows? Is it going to be the second Switch title to repeat? We know, obviously, Mario Kart 8. Deluxe that lasted for two weeks at number one. Can New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe last for a couple weeks? I'm also interested to see, like, with all the sales dropping off after the holidays, I'm actually curious to see uh, where did Switch sales fall in all of this. Uh, I just think this is really fascinating, and it's obviously a great start as our first piece of sales news about this game. Now, what does this mean for my projection? Not much yet, but obviously exceeding by 25%. I hate to say it, but that falls pretty much in line with what I was talking about with what the game is going to sell overall. What was my projection? My projection was about 20% higher than what the final number was on Wii U. Well, sitting at about 25%, 24.8, that's pretty gosh darn close to 20%. 
uh, and that's just in one territory. We'll have to wait and see numbers for everywhere else. But I'm I'm pretty stoked about this, uh, about my projection possibly being correct, and just about the success of this game because it is a really good game. In my honest opinion, it is the best game in the new Super Mario Brothers series. So I'm happy to see it doing well. I'm happy to see it get a second life. Next up, I really hope they bring over Mario Maker or make a Mario Maker 2 because to me, this is the game you had to release before you did a Mario Maker. Now that you did that, let's get Mario Maker and watch that thing blow up like crazy because I think a second life for Mario Maker on Switch could sell astronomically well, like tens of millions of copies. That being said, let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Be sure to enter our Nintendo Switch Super Smash Bros. Bundle, ultimate bundle, thingamajigger down in the description. Uh, we have a link, a gleam.io link. All you got to do is click on it. It'll ask you to verify you're subscribed to the channel. If you are subscribed, great. If you're not, well, then subscribe and you'll be able to enter. There's additional bonus entries as well for watching like our latest episode of the podcast and other stuff like that. Be sure to check that out if you want extra entries into it. The winner will be announced when we hit 50,000 subscribers. That being said, I'm Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime, and I want to thank you guys for tuning in. And I'll catch you in the next one.